What's going on guys? You're with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon White Platinum, the Nuzlocke run. In the last episode, we made our way to, we won our 7th gym badge, we made our way to Iron Nem City. And if my calculations are correct, there's only a few more episodes left of White Platinum. I'm going to guess at three more episodes. So, the show's going to be coming to an end pretty soon. Because um, if today, we face the 8th gym, and it will make our way to the Elite Four. In the next episode, we should take on the Elite Four of the Warren League, assuming we win. And now I don't, I never actually played the post game of the Warren region, so I don't know if you go right into it, but assuming you go right into the World Championship after the Warren League, then that would be the finale of White Platinum. So, oh my god, we're almost there and I'm so excited. But today we're going to be taking on the Iron M City Gym, which is a steel type gym for anybody curious. Um, I could have just, you know, waited a few seconds. I actually, and you guys could have been surprised, but I think I actually mentioned that in the last episode, that this is a, um, steel type gym and you know it's like iron city so you know what else is it gonna be i guess it really shouldn't be that big of a surprise that steel and i really should expect you guys to be more like you should you should i know you guys know these things you guys are not dumb people you're very smart people i have a lot of faith in you guys and it shouldn't be up to me to make it seem like you guys need the proper like education to figure out that this is a steel type gym and I, I apologize. Let's just talk about something else, because I'm starting to think maybe I'm insulting you guys on accident. I'm not trying to, because you guys are amazing people, and you guys don't deserve to be insulted. You deserve, like, hugs and cookies, and hugs and cookies for everybody. I promise I'm not drunk. <laughs> um, so, in the last episode? No, we already talked about the last episode, didn't we? Okay, well, in that case, I'm not, like, really sure what to talk about, because I've been playing Pokemon Coliseum all day. Um, not recording, just playing it on my own, because I figured maybe it's a good idea to, like, replay the game since I'm doing a Nuzlocke of it, so I'll actually, like, remember what's going on and stuff. So, I've just been playing it casually for the past, like, six hours. And, let me tell you something. That game gets extremely hard. And I'm starting to realize now, I'm, like, beyond screwed in my Nuzlocke. So, I'm looking forward to that, because I, for probably about an hour straight I was trying to defeat the um I guess it's like the second main boss like the dude that has Entei and I'm, I'm trying not to spoil too much for those of you who've never seen the game and are like watching my Nuzlocke um but basically there's a guy who you have to catch a shadow Entei from and <laughs> his team is a little powerful to say the least and I wasn't using Espeon or Umbreon so I was just using six shadow Pokemon who are all level 30 and his Pokemon are all pretty much 38 to 40 so not only do I start off at a huge disadvantage um, I just realized this is the gym battle and all of a sudden his her Pokemon are super high so let's flamethrower I guess I don't think Steelix can do much to us but I guess we gotta be careful anyways I I was facing that dude for like an hour um and he was just making my life hell, like, killing all my Pokemon. Like, every time, like, a, first, a few Pokemon would die, like, I needed two Pokemon alive to win that battle. And every time they would die, I would just reset my GameCube. Because it's like, there's no point in just wasting my time now because I won't win this battle. And it was so hard. And now I'm, like, absolutely terrified of um, doing the Nuzlocke. Because I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to face those Pokemon. I'm gonna have to face him in that Nuzlocke where if things die I lose and I'm so excited. And I know probably I'm not gonna get that far in my Coliseum Nuzlocke. And that's super effective. Oh crap. Okay never mind that did nothing. That was weird. I would've thought that would do more. Um, yeah I, I probably shouldn't be complaining. Anyways I know I probably won't get too far in the Coliseum before I lose the Nuzlocke and it reverts back to normal let's play. But eh you know. <laughs> I'm still enjoying it. I'm still having fun. So, hopefully, I don't, I've had a, um, someone say, like, they don't, they, like, refuse to watch Coliseum because they don't like the game. It's just like, what? Why? You know? And then I've had another person who, like, doesn't personally like Coliseum, and yet she is enjoying the Let's Play because of my commentary. So, I don't know. I wish more people would give Coliseum a chance because I know it doesn't get as many views as Light Platinum. And that's a shame because I'm having so much fun and I was looking... I'm really excited about doing Coliseum, even though it's like a once a week series. Um, might be twice a week, I don't know. As of right now, it's just like posted every Monday night and Tuesday morning. So, either way, you guys should just just go watch it. Just watch it right now. Just stop watching this. And go. Okay, I, don't do that. I don't. I want you guys to stay here. Oh, apparently you can get a Beldum in this town, and I don't care because I don't want to Beldum. So, no Beldum for me. Because it's going to be like level 10, and I just... 
I already have a steel type. Do I have a psychic type? I don't need a psychic type. Psychic types are overrated. But, um, it is finally time to make our way to 3-4, and we're gonna have to get our little surfing bitch. He, does he have an open space for... Okay, yeah, we can get rid of Disable. Um, we gotta get our surfing bitch, so pb and is gonna go into box for a little while. And now we got Psyduck blowjob again, so... I think we can actually fly where we need to go, which is amazing. I... Don't think we need to go over here. I think this is just like legendary counters in the post game, so. But we do need to go all the way down here to this area over here, so. And luckily, we could actually fly to this town, because for some reason, you could just. It, didn't I blow you up? What are you doing here? I blew you up! What the. What? Ugh! Man! Just. What, what the heck? What's the point of blowing someone up if they're just gonna completely ignore it and then come back to life two videos later? Just. No. And he's still just standing there. What is TM32? I, I hope it's something good. It's double team. Okay, that's crap. Double team sucks. Except, you know, when people use it against me. And then it's apparently just the most overpowered move ever. But, yeah. Anyways, let's just... Oh, okay. So I'm just going to walk right by this boat because I'm cool. And let's put on a repel. I know people are going to tell me I can catch Pokemon here. And they're going to yell at me because I'm not going to catch any Pokemon here. But guess what? I don't want to catch the Pokemon here because they're useless Pokemon that I'm never going to train. So, now we got to use our brand new move, Whirlpool. Which, uh, guess who's gonna get stuck learning that? Take a guess. I dare ya. Are you gonna? You gonna guess who's gonna learn Whirlpool? Blowjob's learning Whirlpool! Yeah! And now he is a complete TMHM slave who will never, ever be used. So, well, I, I feel a little bad about that. I mean, he you think he deserves a chance? He's a good Pokemon. He He's done his best to satisfy me over the years. But, my god, Shockwave, can you be any less crappy? I'll probably get rid of Shockwave before we go into Elite Four, just because it's so bad. It's just such a hard move to use. Um, oh, it's not hard to use, it just, it does no damage at all. I mean, we are, like, 13, 14 levels above these Pokemon, and we can't even do half damage with a super effective move. And I know it's probably because of our really crap special attack as well, but it's still, Shockwave is just not cutting it, so... I was, I was excited about using Shockwave, I'm like, okay, well maybe this will make Dragonite a little less OP, but now all I can think is, wow, I really s super want Thunderbolt right now, and I really, whoa, that's Blizzard, no, 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 <laughs> what, <laughs> it's not OP anymore, it's not OP anymore, Denor, oh my god, no! 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 That no! 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 The door. Uh, well, that's fantastic. That's I. I didn't want a Dragonite anyways. I didn't want it. Super, oh my God! It's a dead end. Really? Freaking why? Why do that to me, game? Why do that to me? Why get me so freaking Delaney's out front? That's fantastic. Why get me so excited about this, thinking I'm almost there, just to just to do that and realize that I'm just at a stupid dead end and my Dragonite died for nothing. He could be alive right now. We could be like off doing something fantastic and fun, like killing things. But no, instead he's dead. So I have this. I have to carry this huge ass dragon around. Do you know how heavy this guy is? It's not easy to just pick him up and put him on my back and go on with life. That's extremely difficult. And you're putting me through this. You're putting me through this pressure, and I don't appreciate it. So I'm out of G Giga Drain freaking... I hate Giga Drain. Alright, that's cool. We'll just... Oh my god. Yeah, just miss freaking Leech Seed. I'm gonna stall this guy. I'm killing this guy with Chewy if it's the last thing I do. So let's Ice Beam... And wow, that is really pathetic that Ice Beam does that much damage. <laughs> um, he used to be really... Whalemer, you were so sad. Just turn into a Whale Lord already. What, you're, you're, you're drunk. Go home. Bad Whalemer. TM15, what is that? I bet it's something amazing. It's Hyper Beam. <gasps> Someone said I should give Hyper Beam to Dragonite. Guess what? He's dead. Yeah. I can't do that now. I'm sad. I'm a sad... Oh my god, so many freaking dead ends. Where's my super repels? I don't want to battle your stupid... Wow, Pokemon. I just... Why am I not switching Delaney out of the front? It's just He's sitting out there and he's just... He's gonna get killed and I don't want him to get killed because now I'm already out of whatever those moves are. I have 
two Pokemon weak to water. I'm terrified of using Jerpus, so it's literally just Chewy. I just have to stall people out with Leech Seed now and Ice Beam. So that's just fan freaking tastic. So you're just gonna take those like ooh, that's doing a lot of damage. Um, okay, let's ingrain as well. So we get like a ton of HP each turn. Um, or we could get like no HP back each turn because of stupid freaking rap. Oh my god, okay, good. Leech Seed's gonna kill the Tentacruel. I have to switch Delinea up before he dies because that'll be my mistake and then I'll be super. Ah, uh, it's not fair! Man! But at one time I see Gastrodon and I have a grass type Pokemon. I don't have any grass type moves. S sad Caterpie face. That's all I gotta say to that. Sad Caterpie face. Am I done with this? No, I'm not. Oh, okay, I am done with it. What is this Pokemon? Better be something good. It's a super potion. And now I get to go through Victory Road with a dead Dragonite because. Oh no, this is Mount Orin. This isn't Victory Road. Okay, I can actually catch Pokemon here, and I have a feeling whatever's in here will probably be like a decently high level, since this is like the victory road of this region, so... Oh, is this actually... Oh, what's over here? I right, boss here wants to talk to you on top of Mount Orin. Oh, that's fantastic. I thought I was going to do a 4 but nope. Got other freaking... Just... Wow, okay. Way to get my hopes up for nothing. I hope you're happy. I was so excited about getting like through the stupid Elite Four, and now that's not happening. I still got... Oh my god, if this is like an actual maze, I'll actually be somewhat happy. We could catch this match hook, it's level 39. I probably won't do that, because I already have Lucario, and I don't like... Macho killed my freaking Pidgeotto one level away from evolving into a Pidgeot, so... I don't want you. I could have used that Onyx. Actually, I couldn't have used the Onyx. But on more stupid, super, stupid, pusher, repel, fucker, fucker things. Yeah, those. Okay, so... Is this another one of those things where it has like the two useless things on the side? Apparently. Anyways. You know, I just don't understand people. I don't think the world will ever change. It's a vicious cycle. It repeats again and again and again. Generations go by, but the world remains full of people of different ideals and fight over them. But you, you were the one responsible for Team Steam's defeat. Wait, if you guys are defeated, then why are you battling me? What does this accomplish? Sir? No, wait, sir. So, oh, wow, yeah, that's cool. Just freaking throw another Dragonite in my face. Just add insult to injury. That You have Outrage. That's going to do a lot. That's really going to... Okay, I didn't think that much. Um, let's just stall your Outrages out because I don't think I can lift two. Uh, I could I could risk living another one, but he'll probably get a crit. Okay, he's confused. Let's heal up. If he hits himself, then another Dragon Claw will kill him. Okay, good. So now Dragon Claw will kill this Dragonite. And see, this is better. This is starting to get a little challenging. I respect this. I appreciate that game for making this more challenging. I think it's like a group effort here for us to all come together and make this game as difficult as it could be for me. Because screw my life. And alright, for Haxorus, we'll use Delaney. Because at least Delaney has Ice Beam. This isn't Delaney. This is Chewy. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh crap, Swords Dance. Um... Okay, well, at least Outrage is special, so it doesn't benefit from Sword Stance at all. So, I don't even know why he used Sword Stance. I assume he probably has, like, Slash or something. Which would do a ton of damage, because um, Haxor's physical attack alone is already huge. So, adding in a Sword Stance, and you're pretty much just asking for a dead Pokemon. And luckily, he was stupid enough to go for Outrage. I'm kind of curious what his other two moves were. But I guess we'll never know. And let's Hyper Potion one last time, and then Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice did a ton of damage, wow. Okay, I didn't even know Hyper Voice was in this generation. Um, Slam. Why do you have Body Slam and Slam, sir? Just seriously, you're, you're just the worst of High Dragons. And this guy doesn't even say anything because he lost again. <laughs> uh, wait, what, what? Dude. What kind of conversation is that? I didn't even get to say anything. Oh, oh, okay. That's really awkward and weird. Um, is there still, like... Okay, no, there's just nothing over here in general. I'm still curious, like, what's up with... Like, um, what was the name? I don't remember that mountain we were on, but... We went in there and it just had, like, the two useless rooms on each side. I still want to know what the purposes of those rooms were. I think it's, like, um, post-game legendaries, which I will not be doing... I will be ending this Nuzlocke once I beat the World Championship, so those of you who are curious. Um, but, I I think you find Legendary Pokemon there. Oh, is that Earthquake? 
Is that is that earthquake? I think TF26 is earthquake. Oh yeah. Oh, I could have taught you to Denor, but definitely Jerpus is getting that. Oh, or Delaney. Or Chewy. Oh my god, wait. What is Chewy's physical attack like? Because I think normally Abomasnow is actually a physical attacker. Uh, I don't know. That seems pretty split right down the middle. Look, 88 to the next level. Um, let's see. Lucario, 190 physical attack. He really needs a good, like, move that can hit a lot. Because both Cross Chop and Iron Tail are so powerful. But their accuracy is such crap. Um, and I, I don't think I need Focus Punch anymore, so... Um... But then again, we got Delaney, who... You know, we're not going to be using Slash at all, and it's good coverage against... Well, I don't know, I could already hit Steel-type super effectively. I should never be facing a Rock-type with Delaney. Um, and Grass... No, wait, what else does Ground... Electric-types, um... I don't know, all the things that Ground that, that ground hits super effectively, Delaney shouldn't be facing in the first place. Uh, but, I mean, okay, what Ground hits super effective? Ground hits Steel super effective, I already have a fighting move for that. Ground hits Fire super effective... Which, once again, Lucario shouldn't be facing. Ground hits Electric, which... Um... I don't actually have a ground type, do I? So, I think... Yeah, I think Jerpus is going to be getting Earthquake, so... Um... Are we... Are we down? Like, are we at the Elite Four now? After all these little people right here? I don't know, but let's give Chewy an Hyper Potion so he doesn't die. Because that would suck. And if I have any PP ups, I'll probably put it on Chewy's Giga Drain, because... Five just goes by way too... Was I? Have I been here before? This seems awfully familiar. Oh my god, am I going to have rival battles right now? Without my freaking Samurai? Okay, fine, let's do this. Finally, you're here! And I, I'll be right I'll, I'll be right back, yeah. How perfect. This big climactic moment, and right when it starts, I get interrupted. So, anyways, where are we? The three of us have been waiting for you. We'll fight you one by one. Get ready, I'm first. All right, so we got three rival battles um, back to back. Apparently no healing up in between them. So we are out of Ice Beam and Giga Drain. That's fantastic. Okay, well, let's get Elite Seed off just for the heck of it. And I guess we'll switch into Jerpus, which we should resist anything Progly can... Okay, that freaking sucks. Confusion, that's great. No way am I going to risk hitting myself. Um, I already have huge attack as it is, at plus, I think Swagger is plus two, I don't remember. Do I have anything to get rid of? Confusion? Like, any berries, maybe? What does this do? Oh, cool, that restores 10 PP in battle. Um, that's actually awesome. Do I, do I ha okay, I don't have anything to get rid of Confusion. So, I guess we'll just switch out. <laughs> Let's try Dino this time. I'm just trying to switch into Pokemon that resist, um, normal type moves. So, and Dino and Jerpus both resist both of those. Now I can go for Earthquake and hopefully kill the Progly. Okay, good. Now, who's next? A uh, Sur Superior. Interesting. Um, Delaney is the obvious choice here because now we can just, um, Flight Thrower. And oh my god, he has Leaf Blade and we quad resist that. It's so scary. Ah, uh, just... oh crap, I didn't see what was coming. Uh,. This guy is good, Sceptile. Alright, let's stop speeding through when they're telling you what the next Pokemon is, because that was almost very dangerous, and I thought I thought it said Empoleon, but I wasn't quite sure. Luckily, it's not Empoleon, obviously, but that was just terrifying. A nice victory gets an easy opponent. I won't be so easy to defeat. How funny would it be if Silver is even easier than um, Diamond, or Pearl, or whichever one that is. So once again, we'll lead seed just for the heck of stalling them out, because I for some reason find it entertaining to use Leech Seed. And this time we will go with Jerpus, who actually will hopefully get to attack this time. So um can we get off a um cross chop? Maybe? Okay, we actually hit it. Awesome. And that's like the really good thing about Jerpus' moveset is that um once he gets Earthquake, all four of his moves hit super hard. I mean three of them are um base 100 power. And the third one, I think Extreme Speed's base 80 power. But, you know, his two stab moves have 75 and 80 accuracy, respectively, so that part really sucks. Um, but, you know, it's what it, Wow, wait, did Earthquake not one-shot him? Wow, I thought Earthquake one-shotted a um, Tyranitar. Or the Typhlosion, I guess not. So, 
I, I want to use Chewy, but we are out of Ice Beam, so I will use Delaney for the Torterra. And now I have to decide which one of these was easier. Was Pearl easier or was Silver easier? I'm going to say Silver was easier because I had a little bit of trouble with, um, um, what's his name? Perugly. Yeah, Silver is off talking to action. I'll show you how real trader battles. You know, this is going to be really awkward for you three, all three of you lose and like none of you put up a good fight. How is that going to make you feel? Like just, just, you know, casual conversation for a minute. I'm actually kind of terrified that he's going to have a fighting type move. Um, so if I send in Dino and he goes for a fighting type move, I'm screwed. I send in Jerpus, who... Okay, Thunder. I just realized Jerpus is also weak to fighting type moves, but he's only... Um, he's not quad weak to fighting types, so... Let's go for... Um, I don't know, like I said, they're both, they'd have the exact same power, but Iron Tail is more PP. But I think Iron Tail is worse accuracy, I don't know, let's just try it. We actually hit it, so that's awesome. And, oh, wow, I forgot Electric Resist Steel. And that actually wasn't affected at all. Why does Electric Resist Steel? I didn't even remember that until, like, I saw it happen. And then, um, like, I heard the noise, and I, I never remember that. I never, it never occurs to me that, like, hey, it's an Electric type, it'll resist Steel type moves, because that makes no sense. And why does yellow... Okay, I guess yellow having a Pikachu makes some sense, but... We're already going to have to deal with the Pikachu. Hey, Thunder's going to do a lot, probably. Thunder's... Are, <laughs> oh, evolving into a Raichu, you derp. Seriously? That's pathetic. You should be very upset with yourself. Alright, so we defeated all three of them. Incredible, you beat me. I, eh, you beat me better than my campfire instructor. You managed to win the three times in a row. You're a great Pokemon trainer. Now we face the Warren's Elite Four. Wow, you guys all just got your ass kicked and you still think you can beat the Elite Four? Alright, um, have fun with that because I'm sure that'll go great for you, you know. So not you're going to get swept by like the first person who um, is just... I don't even remember what any of the Elite Four people are. Um, I will, obviously, I'm going to look at their levels because I think I'm going to have to do some grinding because... For once, I'm actually, like, under-leveled, so I'll be doing some grinding. Uh, probably, I think the highest of the, um, I think the champion's Pokemon are, like, mid-80s. Um, so, oh, let's go get freaking Samurott back before I forget. So, oh, can I fly here? That is, like, the big question, is if I could fly here, because if I can't, that's going to be super annoying, because I'll have to have blowjob every time I want to come here. Can I fly here? I can't fly here! Yay! That's so stupid! Ah, man, whatever. Uh, I don't know what level I'm going to be grinding to, but that'll be in the next video. We'll have super amazing, awesome grinding video Taj things. Uh, it'll probably be a Let's Discuss video, so I'm not 100% sure what the topic is, but... Or I'll do grinding stories, I don't know. But it'll be, it'll be tomorrow, so yeah, bye, see ya. Whatever, peace.